All right, Taz and I are out for a little camp. We're doing two nights on the ocean. Beautiful, beautiful place. We're spoiled for choice at the moment. We're, we're kind of just looking for a nice camp, but there are plenty, so <laughs> it's hard. There are sheep that way. Yeah, there, there are quite a lot of sheep around. Bimo's not the best dog with them. She's got a bit of a hunting instinct in her, which is frustrating. We actually, I'm not sure how to train it out. So if you have any good links or information, let us know. Anyhow, yeah, we're, we're out here to do a bit of fishing, a bit of camping, a bit of a wild cook up, that kind of vibe. I might see if I can forage some stuff at the low tide. I think there are oysters on the rocks here. So it should be good. This morning's mission, I've got the inflatable kayak in the car and it's not too far. So I'm gonna walk back up there, grab it, pull it down to the rocks and paddle out around this point. There's deep water out there, so see if I can get some big pollock or coalfish, something like that. It's gonna be a good time. I think we found our camp. Um, there's just a nice flat piece of ground that I'm standing on. And then behind me there, there's a nice little uh, nook to cook in and sit. Watch the sun go down, sun goes down in this direction and the wind is forecast to blow from uh, behind us for the weekend. So that's gonna be our little cooking area. So I'm going to walk down and collect some wood just so that we can have a bit of a fire tonight. We brought the gas cooker, but you know, if we can make a fire in that nice little area there, that'll be preferable. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Time for you to get tied up. Yes. There we go. Yeah, now you can walk around. Got our wood sorted. Freaking glamping. Not often we have chairs when we go camping here, Daddy. She's like, no, I want that silver yeah. thing. She wants the silver thing. Sure. You don't want to eat this. Red berry Velveeta. These things are actually really good. Sweet, delicious. Mmm. So the plan is to eat this little Balvita here and a banana then walk back up to the car and blow up the kayak get in the water shunt out around this point and do some vertical jigging see if we can pick up a nice pollock for the pot we got fancy new radio so that we can keep in contact while I'm out in the water Okey ah, that does mm -hmm. fall. That's not good. Good thing uh, I'm be able to attach it to this. <laughs> I just want to be able to press the button and talk to you yeah. instead of like take it out and take it out. I'll like, just jump around a bit and see if it falls off. I think it's good. Right. Hopefully you can actually hear this trip because it is a bit uh, windy out there and there's no dead cat on that camera. So I apologize in advance for any wooden noise. Okay. Yeah, I'm good.
So we're gonna get up and then get on the troll. Ooh, this is exciting. I've been looking forward to this for quite a few months. If you've seen one of my past videos, this is what I was talking about. And the trip was delayed uh, due to you know, lockdowns and such. But now, we're finally here. And man, my hopes are high. <laughs> there is a wind out there. It's about 15 knots, 16 knots, but in the, the wind shadow of these cliffs, should be fine. Calling us parked. It's beautifully wind still. I might cast out in different directions. I'm actually gonna untie this. I thought it was gonna be well rough out here. I've just, um, yeah, fastened the rod to the boat, but I don't think that's necessary. I've had this, um, what is that? A sargus, I think that's how you say it. Pan sargus. I've had it for 10 years. This thing's caught a lot of fish. And I'm fishing with the rigged and ready. World Traveller, fishing with the pink sand eel. I think they call it pearl, the colour, but uh, yeah, it's pink. All right, I'm, I'm definitely drifting in that direction, so I'm going to cast out in that direction so that it, it sinks straight down. I think if I'm dragging behind the boat, I'm just not going to reach the bottom unless I put extra weight on, and I don't really want to do that, to be honest. That's the sand eel I'm fishing with. Absolutely stunning landscape, I must say. Pretty good. I might paddle over to that. Um, cliff edge over there just to, I can see there's a rocky point that kind of leads out and I might go and fish that just to see in slightly shallower water if I can pick something up because right here the tides also tearing out and it's just carrying my um, bait so far before it can even get to the bottom that I'm not I'm not getting to the bottom that's what I'm trying to say Well, this GoPro has let me down once again, but first fish uh, has been caught. Not a bad pull, okay? Pretty good, he asked me. Well, calm down, this guy's gonna be dinner. All right, pal, oh, sorry about this. Uh, how do I wanna do this? I'm just gonna stay holding on to this because I don't want him to get me. Got that artery, and out he bleeds. Perfect eating size fish. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna give him a little good night tap on the head. Off the back of my knife, because he's not going up. All right, that's one fish in. Let's see if we can get another one on the camera. I'm hoping to just catch a Something a little bigger, just for fun. Not to keep, that guy's perfect for me to eat. Don't need anything bigger than that. Must say, I did, I did expect more of a fight from him. They're, they're not the heaviest fighting fish. Maybe it was just that one. Come on, Polly. Oh, is that a fish? No. Nope. Some kelp. I reckon that's a little deeper out there. I have a feeling that if I go further around that point, uh, it would be better fishing. But I just don't have the balls for it, to be honest. <laughs> Not in this thing. <laughs> on that corner. Oh, 
fun. What fun! What a beautiful day. Holy shit, you need know, at least to drag a little. Oh, and that's the fight that we're after. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. <laughs> oh, wee! Oh, this, this might actually be a very decent fish. <laughs> that dive was impressive. Let's pump him up. Oh, it's not actually that much bigger. A little bit. <laughs> Look at that fella. Man, what fun. No, 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 no. Look at that. <laughs> oh, you're lucky. You're too big for me, pal. I don't really want to hurt you. Uh, I don't really know how to hold these fellas best. Oh, there we go. No, stay there, stay there. How's that? I think I might want to take a picture of this fella before I put him back. Cool. Call it there, head back to camp. Get this fish cooking up. Catch you back there. I thought I'd pass by this fish farm on my way. Can anybody tell me why those salmon are jumping like that? Are they trying to get out of there? I think it's just too many fish in a small space. I'm going to stick the camera down and see what it looks like underneath. Very strange. Might get told off for being too close to this because it is somebody else's property. But, you know, fuck it. Let's take a chance. bad for those fish. All right. So we're back at camp and that's our eater for tonight. I'm contemplating whether or not to smoke it or just cook it on the braai, the barbecue braai. We'll see. Nice. <laughs> the hell was that? She's like slid down on her bum. <laughs> yeah, there's a decent amount of meat on there. We might well get a little bit of it. For the most part. I'm going to eat it. Anyhow, I'm going to collect some more wood and um, I might fill it this up. I might just leave it whole and bright like that. We'll see. Let's get to it. But first, we're going to have a beer. Because it's a well deserved beer. Crazy how much the tide's gone out, eh? Yeah, now you can see all the kelp. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
lite kul. Vad är det så att ni har accent? Inte nej. Fan. Why is it so stiff? It's been dead a while. Check that lateral line on it. That is the mark of a hunter. Since it's prey. Very cool. Being the mullet that I am, I bought alcohol free beers. <laughs> Accidentally. But hey, at least we can pretend. It's hydrating. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. I've never had an alcohol free beer in my life. Cheers. I've never done my accident. <laughs> it tastes like apple juice. Oh, actually, that's good. That's not bad. Refreshing. Yeah. So I've already cleaned the fish. I just went up to the little stream scale that I've decided that we're just gonna uh, bride hole. I've got a little bride grid. We've got wood, so make a little fire here and have a little fish broy. I don't know if you guys will be able to appreciate this off of the camera, but. This is our view. Pretty spectacular. Yeah, there's our, our prepared le fish. And we're gonna cook around here. Yeah, until that happens, we'll see you a little later. Cause we're gonna sit here and talk crap for a little while. Drink alcohol free Drink beers. Alcohol -free beers. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's close. That's good. Give me all your trash marks up. <laughs> <laughs> That took me quite a few goes. <laughs> it's pretty wet. Just that, like a you know, ocean damp. Anyway, got it in the end. Got it in the end. Pull this fella up and get a few coals going. Huh? It's actually some of it's really not bad wood. full of oil and stuff. Mm. A few fairly heavy bits, which are nice. That's gonna be a bit of a bonfire when it gets going. Gosh, the roofie, man. Sleepy dog. Look at the sleepy tired. dog. Are you <laughs> tired? Oh. That's what Hoppus Bag wake up does too. Oh, sleepy dog. <laughs> Alright, so these are our food supplies. These are going to make up the, the base for our chow and some additions and we prepared these at home. They're just two <laughs> corn cobs with cream cheese, butter and some of the spice which is pretty good for fish and all the rest. We're going to add a little bit of uh, pesto, pasta, uh, pesto to that. We were planning on having pasta but you know, we're just going to have this stuff and le fish. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is just score the fish, rub in some of the salt, and then rub in a bit of butter as it's cooking. And yeah, we'll just see how that turns out. I don't want to go deep. I just want to give it light scores through the skin to let some of the tastiness in. This knife's Probably could have used the sharpen before we came, but that's okay. It'll do the job. Give me a bit of spice over the top. Rub that in to each of those cracks. Get a bit of this butter. Uh, I'm going to separate it with a stick just because I think you're probably going to use a bit of that too. Why? Uh, you know what? I've got a spoon. <laughs> Better. 
Well, just in case you want to use some of it, you never know. Just rub that over the top. Is that going to work? It's not really going to work, is it? Yeah, I'll just uh, rub it in, shall I? Flipping of this fish is going to be difficult, so I think I'm just going to let it cook through on one side and then flip it once. I'll just see how that is. Oh, it goes. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's turned into a blissful evening. You can see the Hebrides on the other side there. Pretty cool. That's it. You don't, Daddy. <laughs> Have a bite. <laughs> oh God! Don't do that! Don't do that! Polly. Did you measure it? I didn't, I forgot. I always do. <laughs> These corns are going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous, I tell you. I'm excited. Calling fish done because uh, <laughs> I just dropped his tail. And it's definitely finished. Okay. Some seals watching. <laughs> They always make me think that there's whales mm -hmm. where they breathe out. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this here to cool for a minute. I got this all this trick to get the pip out of Evers because I don't like using the knife because I'm afraid of the knife. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just push it from the other side. <laughs> and the seed on, comes though. out. It's pretty nice. Evo, cucumber. It's not gonna work out very well. Then we got some grains. <laughs> Skip it. Mm. Now there's still some garlic in there, but more. So this one doesn't have garlic, but it's got a lot more cream cheese. Something else, I can't remember what else I put in it. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Freaky. That looks bloody delicious. Make sure I don't have any bones in there. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. That's way better than the last one I had. Hmm. Still, um, Pollock for me isn't the most amazing fish. It's good, it's really good, but it's not, it's not like a hake or a, it doesn't hold that firm, nice texture, but it is, it's, it's good. I mean, the flavor added to this is fantastic. Cooked on a bry, can't go wrong. It's, it's really not bad. It's really, really not bad. Mm. That's good. It's just not your favorite fish. It's probably like... It's considerably better than the last time I tried this. The last Pollock I had... Had a, like a strange 
earthy flavor, which I wasn't a fan of. This doesn't have that. It's very clean. Doesn't have a lot of fishiness or any strong fishy flavor. It's just, it doesn't have a, like a bite to it. Kind of mushy. I wouldn't say mushy, that's unfair. It's, it's just, it doesn't have a bite to it, but it's still really, really good. I am not complaining. Anyway. Taz's turn. <laughs> some avo, some cucumber, some lentils, some pesto, some grains. Yep. Mmm. <laughs> They're good. So these two, that's just butter, garlic, and a little bit of cream cheese. This one's um, cream cheese. Cream cheese and uh, what's it called Tabasco. Oh, really? Mm. Spicy. And then there's a little close up of friend the Pollock. Mm. Mm. Is it any different? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Warm. Oh. Good. It tastes like a corn. Can't taste much else. A milli. It tastes like a milli. Is this the same? Hmm. I can taste the garlic on that one. Mm -hmm. I like that one more. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna eat our dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Probably see you guys in the morning. He's a good girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eat. Pack up camp. Well, not pack up camp, but tidy up and then we'll hit the sack and then uh, yeah head out see you tomorrow morning yeah f first thing tomorrow morning up for a fish I reckon I didn't give this fish enough credit it's pretty fantastic and look at that that's all just delicious Boneless meat. <laughs> oh, I mean, savage, but I'm sorry. It's who I am. gone, I don't know, 7.30 I think, and going to make a cup of coffee and then get out there. It's absolutely beautiful. Bit of a blue sky today, which did not expect, forecast did not say blue sky, it said wind and rain. <laughs> so, pleasant surprise. Going to get a couple of cups of coffee on, and then we'll get out there and do some fishing. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to head out there. I'm just going to use a POV today so that hopefully we can see one of those rod bends. Yeah, let's get out there. Alright, we're back out on the paddle. Just trolling a um, Sabiki rig. See if we can pick up some mackerel on the way. I mean, I don't think the chances are high, but I've got it weighted down pretty heavily, and you know, worth a try. But today I'm just going to pop straight around that point and 
do some vertical dropping I'm hoping before the tide turns because it's still just on the top of coming in now um, yeah and we'll see if we can pick up a nice big fish to take home the boat I'm in today is the uh, sea eagle and it's it's performing pretty well it's it, obviously an inflatable so it kicks around a little I, I would I would prefer to have slightly bigger skegs on the back but I know that makes it more difficult to transport so ideally I'd love to see one of these boats with removable skegs that can keep you in a straight line even in the wind I'm not sure if there's anything on here it feels very light but I got a whack just gonna bring it in slowly oh I love it when a new rig does something I've not fished a Saviki before and I'm just completely winging it I don't think it stayed on whatever it was but that was still cool nice to know that I can get a hit didn't get a second hit on the Sabikis I mean no first hit was down there now we're just um, doing a bit of jigging with a pink sand eel we'll see how we're coming along oh I think that was just bottom I mean, it just couldn't get me more idyllic than this, I'll tell you what. Perfect day for it. If I don't get something fairly quickly on this pink one, I'm going to change to the blue, just because the blue was definitely working yesterday. Pretty amazing scenery. So that's Nice Point around that edge. I reckon I probably don't have to go that far. <laughs> Maybe another time. I'm just gonna push out a little further and then let the wind drag me back. And I'll fish the whole way. That's good enough. Let's get a bait down. Oh, there's the, the birds are working right there. Damn it. Just came from there. Man. That sucks. Okay, I want to turn this around. I want to be facing the shore, not the lady. Open ocean. Oh, there comes the ghost. Shit, and I've hit bottom there, didn't realize it was so shallow. Or oh, is that a fish? No, I'm on bottom, on I? Uh, hard to tell. Oh, I might be into a fish. If I am, it's very lazy. No, I'm just pumping myself closer towards the. No, oh, no, I'm on a fish, I'm on a fish. Sweet! Make sure this is... Yeah, it's going. This guy didn't dive very hard. He can't be very big. <laughs> He's heavy though. Oops, wait for this gust. What have we here? Is he freezer material? Oh, look at that! He is freezer material, that's for sure. <laughs> Just gonna let him get a little more tired. There we go. Alright. Oh, that's not great. You're alright, bud. You're alright, bud. I mean, you're not. You're gonna die, but you know what I mean. Oh, Christ. 
really don't want to get that hook in me. Alright. Not bad, eh? Not bad. She'll do, Donkey. She'll do. Right. Get him tied on first and foremost. Get the hook out of the way because we don't want that getting on any of us. Got the little stringer. Oh god, those gills are sharp. Get off with knives. My blood, not his. Cut <laughs> the camera is. Trying the right thing. Look at that! That's gonna feed me for a week, I reckon. Man, that one last night was so good as well. I'll take anything I can get. I'm not gonna be able to bonk this dude, he's too, too big. <laughs> so, oh, sorry pal, I know this is not the best way to die. So you just wanna get the, the artery which runs right there. You can watch that. <sighs> And now you'll bleed. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. Nice. You can see him bleeding out as his heart beats. Man! <laughs> this kayak was worth it, man. <laughs> oh, this kayak was worth it. Alrighty. Stoked. Stoked, stoked, stoked. Make sure that this is... Right. That was the first drop off at this point. So once he's bled out, I'm going to pop him in the boat just because I don't trust the seals not to come and uh, nab him. And that would make me cry. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. I didn't even know I had it. <laughs> Felt like a stone. <laughs> Thank you, pal. And I got that fish on the drop before it even hit the bottom. Beauty, 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 beauty. So that guy's gone now. He might still like twitch and, you know, all of that. Yeah, he's done. I can put him in the boat. Although I do want to keep it fresh, so I might leave it there for a little longer. Fish on! <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> Smaller one, but still. Good, 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 good. I might take this guy for the free zone, one more for the uh, brighter night. Yeah, this one feels way smaller. You can see him down there, it's a bit of color. Yeah, just a little little guy. Nice little fish. I might just take a a shot of him before he jumps out of my hand. If he jumps out of my hand, that's okay. He can go. All right, off you go, pal. to the depths. Okay, well now I know that they're feeding throughout the water column, which is pretty cool. And that guy, I got on right on the top. 
Almost hit that girl. <laughs> bouncing bottom here there we go fish on that's a fish <laughs> also not 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 very big bigger than the second one but not as big as this fella See some colour. <laughs> Come on, we'll get a picture of you and get you back down in a second. Oh, no, 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 calm down. Just get this done quickly. Oh. I don't need a picture. Let's let him go. I do want to get just one, one really, really big one, just, just because I barely ever catch big fish, being primarily in the freshwater. Soft plastics hold up really well. Savage gear, man, savage gear. I actually have no idea how to fish this thing. It's got the eye on the front with the hooks attached to that and then just an empty loop on the back. No idea. I'm just going to clip it on there and fish it like that. It goes down so quick. And that's kind of why I'm going to use it now. And it also casts like a bullet. Okay, let's clean this fish and then call it done. I reckon off that, that point where I was earlier is, is the spot to be. And that's all right, I don't, I don't need another fish. I was just thinking it'd be nice because I'm probably not going to be out here on the kayak again for months. Well, maybe not months, but for... for... Oh no, you're right, it will be, it'll be months. When I say you, I'm talking to myself. Just going a little mad, that's all. like goes on and then like I, I caught the, these fish in the first 20 minutes of putting in and this was the, my first cast of this one yeah spoils of the day not a bad pollock we'll be taking him home to broy <laughs> like, uh, yeah, excited she knows she gets some <laughs> <laughs>